Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the drape command in Rhino. The drape command is nice. It is basically like laying a blanket over an object. For example, if we had a, uh, a box here, draw it up, and let's draw a surface underneath the box so this surface can um, drop down to. I'm going to use the drape command by typing in drape, and it's just going to ask to draw a window over the object. So I'm just going to draw a window over the box and you can see that now it is if I were to select this surface it is a a draped surface over what the box once was and this is also useful for for example if you're working with lidar scans the lidar scan is going to come in as a mesh and the mesh might be very big depending um, in, in memory size depending on how big the area is so what I've liked to do in the past is I'm going to bring in an obj file dot obj um, and this is a type of file that Rhino recognizes so I'm going to drop in or insert the obj file by just hitting insert and hitting OK I'm going to ignore all these textures for right now And here is the staircase that was 3D scanned. We can look closely. Um, sometimes Rhino doesn't want to zoom in close depending on how large the object is. You can use this little magnifying glass to just zoom selected and it will uh, bring in the uh, zoom much faster. Let's rotate this 180. So here is the staircase that was uh, LiDAR scanned up along the house and this is a mesh you can see just how much mesh there is along everything now if you were to use the command two NURBS which is another command that we're going to go over later um, it almost can freeze the program sometimes so I'm going to bring this object up I'm just going to create like I said another rectangle underneath this object and instead of using the command two NURBS which will take this mesh to a surface I'm going to use the command drape and I'm just going to drape over the mesh that was scanned on the LiDAR and you can see here that now if I just move this mesh to the side we have the contour that was once here on the side of the stairs so you can use the command uh, drape and then we could clean this up by you know if we brought this surface up to let's say the bottom of the stairs we could trim this and what we could do in the future episodes I'm going to show you how to create a bounding box and then we can contour this slope that way you have you know existing topography slope in your model